65 bracelets have been won so far at the 2016 World Series of Poker. Over 90,000 entries have been made and more than $130 million have already been awarded at the Rio in Las Vegas. For each bracelet, a champion. For each champion, a story. 2016 saw Jason Mercier write his name in poker history books, making three final tables in a row over an eight-day period, winning two bracelets and finishing runner-up in the other event. This year saw a number of other notable poker pros add to their bracelet totals, and even saw some longtime members of the Best Without a Bracelet Club finally scratch their names from that list. Former Full Tilt Poker owners Chris Ferguson and Howard Lederer made headlines by returning to the WSOP for the first time since Black Friday. In the Poker Players Championship, Brian Rass rose above the fray to become the second two-time champion of one of the game's most prestigious events. While the biggest names in the game continue to prove why they are the best in the business, 2016 also saw plenty of amateurs and aspiring pros find success. The summer also brought emotional moments, like $565 Pot Limit Omaha bracelet winner Ryan LaPlante's impassioned speech given the day after the tragic mass shooting at a gay nightclub in Orlando. I'm proud to call myself an openly gay man. It's been an action-packed month and a half, with plenty of highs and lows along the way. But now, six weeks after the first cards were dealt, the centerpiece of the whole summer has now finally arrived. The 2016 WSOP $10,000 No Limit Hold'em main event is here. Last year, Joseph McKeon topped a field of 6,420 players to become the 2015 world champion. Who will be the next to grasp the main event bracelet? Stay tuned to Card Player as we bring you coverage of the 2016 WSOP main event.